Well, we're, we're particularly um, excited about this development. Um, the the VNA market in the, in the UK is typically a very strong market, um, and what we've seen is in terms of drivers towards productivity productivity and efficiency, um, we've seen an application there to be able to take our, our manual range of VNA trucks and take them through a process of semi-automation and ultimately to a position where we can fully automate those trucks um, based on technology that is production line, it's scalable and it's modular. And what, what's the particular advantage of going fully automated? And I suppose the obvious one being less labour costs, but are there other advantages that manufacturers and distribution houses should bear in mind apart from the labour? There are, there are. Um, the obvious one, as you say, is anybody that's on a multi-shift, especially on a three-shift operation, can see significant benefits from a return on investment um, because by taking the operator away from that duty of driving the machine, especially as I say on extended or multiple shifts, then you can recognise a significant cost benefit. But there are also other things. In terms of automation, uh, you have a very, very controlled environment for the equipment. So what you see is a reduction in product damage, um, you see a, a reduction perhaps in equipment, damage which means that the longevity of that life of the equipment is also advantageous when you look at the whole life costs of a piece of equipment. Um, the other benefits also uh, cascade down in terms of uh, if you have a, a warehouse or a production or a manufacturing facility where you can turn the lights out, you can perhaps take the heating um, element away, then again there are spin-off benefits that we see will um, will add to the argumentation towards automation. So other than the, the VNA, the automated VNA product, there's also a, a material handling solution for, did you call it the, the, the uh, pick and lock pick in place or pick, you, you tell me what it is, the automation? We, we've introduced again as an extension to our standard product, we've introduced what we call an automated pallet mover, um, which is a piece of equipment that we again through our modular and scalable technology we can take from a manual version into a fully automated version. And there are a couple of derivatives that we think are particularly interesting to the UK market. And the first application is in full unit load movement, um, typically where you've got long repetitive journeys, again you've got multiple shifts, particularly interesting in manufacturing because you can actually take the operator again away from that duty um, and over the three shift you can see significant benefits in terms of its return on investment. Um, that's the story in terms of automating full unit load movement but there's also another opportunity and what we see increasingly is that order picking is such a high proportion of a, a, an operator's costs right. that any improvements that we can introduce there bring significant benefits on the whole life cost and the operational cost of the system. So one of the things that we've looked at in particular is how we can use semi-automation in the order picking process as well. So we've taken a, a solution that we can take base, te base technology, we can then introduce pick by voice, link it into the warehouse management system which now gives you seamless communication from the top level down to machine level and we integrate that into the order picking so that now as an operator goes along a rack face the machine drives itself automatically and leaves the man to do what he does best which is picking onto the target pallet. Right. So it really is optimising each part of the human machine interface to do precisely what they do best. Yeah. Um, could you just perhaps finish by saying what, what are the big drivers for these type of uh, technological improvements in the material handling industry? I mean green being one, I guess you're also talking to people in a recessionary environment. I mean, what are the big drivers affecting your product range? Okay, I mean what we've noticed, you know, post the, the, the major uh, recession is that organisations now realise that they can't just stand still um, and often they realise that they have to make some investment um, to deliver their key business drivers and the key business drivers we're finding is an improvement in productivity an improvement in efficiency but also to reduce costs of their operation as well and those are the biggest drivers and, and the trend now is that organizations are willing to invest but they need to see 
an attractive return on investment and they also need to see an attractive whole life cost of that piece of equipment or that solution um, and those are the things that we're seeing are driving the businesses so really, most even though in the UK it's, it's very fond of uh, contracts uh, rentals it's becoming even more popular to servitize a product uh, in this space yeah 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 well Steve Richmond from Europe Heinrich UK thank you very much it's a pleasure thank you